Hey everybody, Robert right here, private label law attorney, and today I'm gonna ask, I'm not gonna ask, I'm gonna answer the question, what do you do when you get an office action? Well, first let's talk about an, what an office action is. So in the trademark registration process, you know, we file the application, the application sits there for six months, and then an examining attorney picks it up, and they are charged, that examining attorney is charged to make sure that only good, solid, strong trademarks make it to registration. If there is an issue with the application, maybe that uh, there was some information that was a little wonky about the applicant. Maybe you know you identified yourself as a limited company, but you're really not a limited company. Uh, you're an LLC. Maybe you checked the wrong box there. If um, you know the specimen that you submitted just doesn't seem to really um, show your mark being used in commerce, or you know, those are kind of administrative sorts of concerns, or if they're more substantive concerns. The mark can't be registered because it's descriptive of the goods or services. The mark can't be registered because it's likely to create confusion with another mark. If the examining attorney sees any of these things, these administrative, kind of ticky-tacky sort of stuff that's easy, decently easily corrected, or there's like a substantive concern with the registration, the examining attorney is going to issue an office action. Okay, That office action is a formal, legal-looking sort of, of document, and it explains, it's, it's basically... A love letter from the examining attorney because it's it's you know when you get one you're not really happy about it but it basically explains to you hey here's what my concerns are um, you know here's why my here's some evidence to kind of support my concerns I'm not just making it up you know I I can't I can't register the mark I have to reject the mark okay now you can respond to that right the examining attorneys aren't perfect uh, you know they they make mistakes maybe they're looking at things a certain way maybe they didn't have the right information you know so you have the opportunity to respond. Right? And you should do so in a formal response. You have six months to do that from the date that office action is issued. And depending upon the nature of the concerns, you know, are they administrative or the, are they more substantive, um, you know, it really may make sense to involve someone that does trademarks to help you know, provide arguments, counsel, uh, case support, evidentiary support to, to bolster your argument. So definitely something you should consider when you get an office action. Should I respond to it myself or should I engage a professional? Right. Um, in terms of office actions, I mean, they can kind of go back and forth, right? You know, one issues, you respond, another one can issue, you can respond, another one can issue, you can respond. And at some point, generally you get three bites at the apple, the examining attorney is going to say, listen, this is a final office action, I'm done. You know, if you've got concerns with what I'm, I'm talking about, you know, you can take it up with the commissioner, get in front of the trademark trial and appeal board, but like, you know, I've, I've said what I've got to say about this. So what do you do? when you get an office action. Well, understand it, right? Make sure you understand the concerns from the examining attorney. Are they administrative? Are they substantive? You know, because it, it matters, right? It could be something that you can easily respond to, or it could be something more substantive where you want to involve a professional to help you. Two, call the examining attorney. Send them an email. Reach out to them. Uh, they are there to help you. I mean, they, they, they're not mean people. It's not like they're just kind of beating away trademarks but they have to do their job. They're charged with a very important job of making sure that only good, solid marks make their way to registration, right? And then thirdly, don't ignore it, right? If you've, if you've got an office action, don't ignore it. You've already invested time, money, and effort in getting your mark you know, to the point where someone in the trademark office has looked at it. Don't ignore it, all right? So don't ignore it. Reach out to the examining attorney understand what the concerns are, and then put together a response. You know, That's what I, my guidance when you get an office action, that's what it means, uh, and they can be overcome. Just because you got rejected doesn't mean that you can't put together, give the examining attorney the, the information they need to help move through registration. It also doesn't mean that you can't put together an argument that, that really you know, kind of overcomes the concerns that are expressed. So office actions can be overcome. Don't get defeated, don't get deflated. You spent time, money, and effort getting, getting that application in front of them finish it out to at least some degree of a conclusion, okay?